thought you were on duty. I was. I signed myself out after surgery. Figured you'd be upset about Michael. I just, I can't believe he's been sentenced to prison. I don't know. It's pretty crazy. What's that? It's my old diary. From when I was with Stone. Mm -hmm. I was Michael's age. Too young to know what real love was all about. You know, that's what they said anyway. That we would look back on that time in our lives and barely remember each other. Shows how much they know. I've got number 18, it's like burned in my memory. Stone was 18 when he was diagnosed with AIDS. I was 18 when I watched him die a year later. You know, when I learned to love unconditionally. I know Michael, he's 18, he's, he's in prison and now he'll remember that number forever too. I know what you think you made your position. Uh, many years ago, you agreed to just, you just say it. Do you think my kids are better off without me? Sonny, you know that I don't regret my decision to raise Dante long. And I would have never told him that he was your son. Even though I saw every day how much that kid missed having a father. But uh, you know what? I had him surrounded all the time by terrific male role models that were that were reinforcing all the values that I was trying to teach him. You know, he never, he was never taught to, to disrespect the law or, or shoot someone to piss him off. I can guarantee you he was never shot at or, or kidnapped or forced to defend me from a mad woman with a gun. Well, I can't argue with that. Dante never knew me to begin with. I never knew him, but my other children, it's like, you know, history. It's not easy to undo that. You walked away before. Yeah, but yeah, I don't really want to get into that, but it, it wasn't my, my uh, decision, you know, and it didn't take, and Carly eventually let me see Michael and Morgan because they, they needed me and I needed them. It's really, really hard to walk away from your children. So I got to figure out how a way to protect them, that's all. One. Michael's release, that's the priority. Where do we start? Well, the quickest thing to do would be to get the judge to uh, reverse his ruling. Well, the only way a stubborn guy like that's going to reverse it is if he's forced to by a higher court or something. The appeals process? I mean, that takes months, years. Michael could have been done serving his sentence and waiting at home by the time he gets to court. No, we need to, to appeal to someone higher up on the, on the food chain. Yeah, people with influence. Like the quartermates. You know, I think, actually, Edward would totally want to step up for his great-grandson. He's rich and powerful and super connected and highly motivated. Well, that, that's, a, that's a great place to start. In the meantime, I'm going to track down Claire Walsh. She knows the federal court system better than any of us. How, how is Claire motivated? Well, she made a mistake. She let her ambition cloud her judgment. And there's a kid facing five years in prison who shouldn't be there. She's got to feel guilty. If she doesn't, I'll just push some buttons. <sighs> Jax, look, you're a very influential man. Okay, you've proven as much for months. Use the contacts you bullied into getting me on Sonny's case to get Michael released. Well, calls have already been made. Good. So when it comes down to brass tacks, you gotta spin this as you helping Jasper Jack's stepson, not Sonny Corinthos' kid. Okay? And one more thing, I'd, I'd like you to try to steer this appeal into one of two judges, Marvin Kaplan or Lynette Black. They're most likely to be more sympathetic with our cause. Okay. Appreciate the heads up. But remind me again why you suddenly care. I am well aware of the part that I played in this travesty. I used Sonny's trial to advance my career, and I shredded my ethics along the way. I pissed off Judge Carroll and made a mockery of his courtroom, and he took it out on Michael. 
and I'd feel a lot better about myself if I did something to see justice prevail in the end. Dante's not a mobster. He's a cop. If he disappears, people will notice and they'll care. You will be their first and only suspect, Jason. The cops won't stop till they have you in custody. Oh, I can do it clean this time. Cops can suspect all they want. They're not going to be able to prove anything. There's no reason to change. There's no reason to do anything. Michael's in prison for two years because of that son of a bitch. You think I'm just going to let him keep breathing? You have to because he's Sonny's son. And Sonny will turn against you. Don't think he won't. One of two things will happen. You will die because you won't fight back or Sonny dies. And either way, I lose. How is it good that Dante's still around? Here's the way we all win. We dismantle Dante piece by piece. We break him down to nothing. And we don't spare Lulu because that little bitch needs to learn what happens when you betray your family. I think it's beautiful. Dante lives through his own downfall. Dante dies. No. No. I'm Michael's mother. You gotta give this to me.